Alright, in this video I'm going to discuss how I upgraded my Windows 10 system to Windows 11. Windows 11 has been here for more than a year now and I have done installation on a few computers afresh but upgrading from a computer running Windows 10 with a lot of software installed and a lot of data up there and the peripheral devices and drivers and everything I was a little reluctant like quite a lot of other people who are uh, holding back on Windows 11. So I'll show you how exactly uh, went through the process in this video. Uh, before we begin, I must tell you that Windows 10 is working just fine on my system and I have no, uh, I have no problems with, with that, but uh, I really wanted to try Windows 11 out. Also, uh, Microsoft has been really uh, pushy. They really want me to upgrade. So sometimes you see this kind of a banner in your Windows uh, update section where you could probably upgrade to Windows 11 or they have been sometimes right in my face showing this kind of a prompt that you must upgrade to Windows 11 that's the best thing you can do or sometimes they're being soft and subtle and putting this Windows update icon down here instead of orange they've been putting an updates icon in blue telling you that there's a special update coming up so finally I've decided to go for an upgrade and this is how I go about this Step one, make sure you back up all your data. Uh, this is just a precaution. I just don't want to lose any of my files and I usually do a manual backup. So I copy my stuff from my folders into an external hard drive and put it in a safe place. Step two, once you're sure that you're not going to lose any data if something goes wrong, it's about time to click on one of these icons or just go to the Windows Update and click Upgrade. Now the process begins and initially it is going to download your Windows 11 files. This download is around four gigabyte and that should not take a lot of time. It depends on your internet connection once your download is complete. By the way, during the download, it is not going to uh, uh, hinder any of your working. You could continue, continue working on your Windows 10 system. Uh, it will show you a progress that it is downloading uh, in your Windows update section. Once the download is complete, it will start installation. By the way, right in the middle of the installation process, it may stop you and ask you, are you sure you want to continue the installation with these software? Some of the software which are not compatible, it will list those software and the only option that you have is to uninstall those software before you upgrade the system. Uh, I did not uh, realize that there were any options of skipping that. I believe we have to uninstall those applications so I uninstalled only one application that was listed as something which was not okay to be there so uh, I uninstalled that so now was the exciting time I closed all my application and I, I was sitting and waiting there to see how the update goes so it says installing 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 it was showing the percentage 10% 20 30 40% 50% 90% and once it reached 97%, my system was just stuck. No, it was not stuck. The Windows system was working just fine, but the installation was paused at 97%. I thought it is quite some heavy stuff happening right now. So I decided to wait. I waited for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, a couple of hours. After three hours, I decided, well, there's something wrong. So I pulled the plug, not really pulled the plug, I went to the start menu, power and restarted my Windows 10 system. The Windows system was working just fine. Once I was restarting, I realized I see this kind of a prompt that the updates are being installed and I realized uh -oh, there was some pending Windows 10 installs in my system and I did not restart yet. So maybe it is installing the Windows 10 updates or Windows 11 updates. But soon I realized it was just Windows 10 updates and I was back in Windows 10. Oh, that was the first fail. Anyway, I went back to uh, settings, uh, Windows update section, and I found that it is going to start downloading Windows 11 again. And yes, without asking me again, once I have clicked to upgrade to Windows 11, it is assuming that I am upgrading for sure. Now, it was upgrading, it was downloading, downloading, downloading. In a few minutes, it was downloaded. And then it was installing again. This time I decided to be a little more patient, but well, three hours was quite some time to be patient. So it went again, 
downloading 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 installing 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 uh, so next step was to just wait for the installation to complete it took quite some time I think it took another hour or so but it did not take too much time and eventually the installation was complete next step was to restart the system it did not restart it automatically it gave me an option it said restart pending and once i click on the restart it did a usual restart with an update so it showed me this uh, usual windows update screen and then it was going blank on the screen and and installing stuff a few more minutes and i was hoping that things will go just fine and well that was actually very smooth this time no hiccups no problems no issues and there we are with our welcome screen of windows 11. quite interestingly no new configuration no new tricks the same old username the same password i usually enter and enter the password and here is my desktop desktop on windows 11. all my applications which were there on the system were working just fine in the first two couple of hours i have tried all the applications are working fine everything is as usual the same old configurations are working even my desktop background is the same all my peripherals my usb devices my cameras my external microphone everything is working just the way it was working in windows 10 and it remembers quite a lot of stuff from my old uh, windows 10 installation even my browser tabs which were left open on my google chrome or on my firefox or my or my edge they were all there as it is so it's as if i have just uh, change the windows and everything else is working fine so i'm absolutely happy with the process yes there was one hiccup i don't know why it was my hunch is that probably it was because i did not install the windows 10 uh, upgrade so if you think that uh, you you want to avoid maybe don't take a chance go ahead and install all your windows 10 updates before you attempt for going for windows 11 upgrade and here i am working just all happy with my windows 11 uh, maybe after a couple of days i'll share another video with my first impressions of windows 11 so that's all for uh, this video right now thank you very much for watching